Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm Don and you're watching VR Gamer Dude and today on the channel we're taking a look at the Air 2, the Air 2 Pro and the Beam from Xreal and I can't thank them enough for sending all of this out. You guys know I have been super curious about all of these XR glasses lately so I can't wait to get these open and test them out. Let's go. Okay, so first and foremost, let's talk about what you're going to get when you open the box. Now, I'm not going to do a traditional unboxing on these. They sent me two pairs of glasses and a beam and some accessory cables and things like that. It just would have taken too much time. But rest assured, the, the packaging that Xreal uses, as always, is extremely nice. Now, inside the package, what are you going to see when you take them out? Well, the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see a, a hard clamshell case. Now, between the Air 2 and the Air Pro, no difference there other than the outside material on the Air Pro feels a little more premium, a little more rubberized. Um, the case itself, like I said, is a hard case. It's definitely going to protect your glasses from the outside. But what about the inside? Now, that's where I feel X-Real kind of cheaped out a little bit. As you see here on the first generation Airs, you had a nice little flap on the inside. Well, on these, unfortunately, you don't. And, and you just have your loose cable up in there. And over time, I'm not going to lie, I worry that the little metal parts on the cable could scratch up against the lenses. So come on x real you know people are spending a lot of money for these don't cheap out by just leaving a flap out i mean seriously you could have put a little bit nicer case in there but either here nor there you're going to get a hard case with your glasses now with that said you're going to get a cable obviously so you can plug them into the phone and each one of them comes with the newly redesigned light blocker here now this is something that i really do like they, they really did a good job on the redesign here the older one just clipped right onto the front but it didn't block any external light coming in from underneath the glasses which would cause some glare and you can see here they've added that and they're not 100 percent i don't know if you can see through them there but they're not 100 percent opaque they, they do have just a hair of transmissiveness to them so under bright light conditions you can still kind of see through the glasses when the screen is off now star of the show obviously is going to be the glasses themselves between the Air 2 and the Air 2 Pro, you couldn't even tell the difference. I mean, they are both made of the same sturdy plastics, yet flexible and light now compared to their predecessor. Uh, you can see here at the back, they, they bend nicely. Now, one thing I will note, they actually have, and I don't know if you guys can hear it here on the mic, they have this kind of popping sound right at the connection point. And, well, I just feel like that could be a failure point over time. So we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on that. And if it does fail, I'll obviously let you guys know. But either way, I got to say, I, I do like the weight. I like the feel. I like the, the, the stretchability here for larger heads. I love the fact that they kept the three levels of adjustment so you can angle that screen and get it just right. So X-Real definitely knocked it out of the park on build quality. So let's talk a bit about the comfort and style of the Air 2 glasses. Now, I've got to admit, when I first got these out of the box, I didn't really like the feel very much because, well, quite frankly, for some reason, my brain kept equating the more, you know, flexible and lighter weight design of the Air 2s to just being cheaper than the Air 1s. But I'm happy to say that after only a couple of hours of use, I have completely changed my mind on that and it would be hard to go back to my old Air 1s due to the huge increase in comfort that you get with these glasses. Let's face it, it, comfort is a crucial factor when it comes to picking out your set of XR glasses and with this new design I can now wear these for hours and they just seem to fade away. Now in terms of style, both of the pairs here share that same modern aesthetic that we saw in the first gen Airs. 
taking on basically the look of an oversized pair of Ray-Bans. And honestly, I didn't feel awkward wearing these out in public at all. In fact, I kind of like them. So whether you're a tech enthusiast or whether you're someone who's a bit more fashion conscious, these glasses should complement your style nicely. Now, let's discuss the most critical aspect in a set of XR glasses, which is obviously going to be the clarity of the video and the audio. I mean, that's what these are all about, right? So the x Air 2 and Air 2 Pro both deliver a great visual experience. And I got to say, it's mostly probably due to the, the Sony OLED displays that they're using in the new glasses. So both of these glasses now feature two 1080p screens that are capable of refresh rates of up to 100 and 20 hertz. They're still using the birdbath optics that have the 46 degree field of view, but it has a 49 PPD now. And man, that's super crystal clear. And it's also got a perceived brightness of up to 500 nits. And I'm happy to say the colors in these displays are vibrant and much better tuned than the Air 1s with images that appear sharp and detailed and definitely helps to create an immersive experience when you're watching media or playing games. Now, overall, in the displays in the Air 2 and Air 2 Pro do look better than the Air 1, but I did find at high brightness levels, they tended to get a bit pixelated, which is especially noticeable when looking at white text against a darker background or in videos or games where the scenes were particularly well lit. Now, it could also be attributed to the fact that the perceived screen size in these glasses is huge. And in some cases, you can even jack it all the way up to 330 inches up in your face. And that obviously is going to cause those pixels to get a little more stretched out across the viewpoint. And you're going to see them a lot more. Now, it's not a deal breaker by any means, but it is noticeable. And since it got slightly annoying at certain times when compared to other glasses that I've tested and reviewed, I kind of felt I needed to mention it. Now, shifting gears to the audio quality, the new speakers in the Air 2 lineup uh, provide a clear and immersive sound, and I'm happy to say it's much louder and fuller than what we got in the first gen airs and you know i'll admit the audio quality is impressive with just the small speakers here that are built right into the arms of the glasses but at the same time i have to say that using your preferred headphones with these glasses is going to enhance that audio experience and also help block out some of those external factors for times when well you want to be fully immersed in your media you know so uh, admittedly, there is still enough of an audio bleed as well in these glasses to be heard externally. So if you want a little extra privacy, definitely going to want to revert to those earbuds. Like for an example, I couldn't wear these laying in bed with my wife while she was trying to sleep because it kept waking her up. She could hear the audio bleed. So for many of those kinds of use cases, I still find myself reverting to my favorite pair of headphones or earbuds. Okay, so let's focus on the only difference that I've actually found when comparing these two sets of glasses and what's undoubtedly considered to be the standout feature of the Air 2 Pros here, and that's going to be the two-stage electrochromatic lens darkening system. Now, this feature allows you to easily adjust at the touch of a button the tint level of the lenses, effectively reducing glare and optimizing visibility in different lighting conditions and I did find it especially useful when transitioning between indoor and outdoor or very bright and very dark environments. Now I will say it's not the first time I've seen this tech in a set of XR glasses but it's definitely the first time I've seen multiple levels of darkening as you see here and after doing some testing well the feature works really well and absolutely does help to provide a more comfortable viewing experience even under bright sunlight but I have to mention, however, that both the standard X-Real Air 2 and Air 2 Pros both come with the newly redesigned light blocker, which pretty much does the same thing, just not at the touch of a button. So is this feature really worth the added expense to get the Pros? 
Now, before we wrap things up, I also wanted to take a minute to talk about the x real Beam. And I do appreciate them sending this, but I'm not going to lie, when I first got this device last month, I actually chose not to review it, well, because quite frankly, it was really bad and pretty much useless other than giving a wireless way to connect to the phone or the PC. But I am happy to say that since then, Xreal has been hard at work pushing out updates to the device, and while it's still not perfect by any means, it's definitely more functional now. So the recent updates have added, you know, things like Netflix and the ability to easily sideload Android APKs from your PC, so now at least it can finally be used as a portable video player and even an Android or emulator gaming system, similar to other devices that I've seen from other companies in the XR space. Now, Sideloading is still not the most user-friendly way to go, however, but a user group has created a complete website and list of known working apps for anyone who has a Beam to go and download. So I gotta tell you, community involvement is really making this better, and with the recent flurry of updates and the user additions that I just mentioned, it does give me hope that this is eventually gonna be a fully functioning device that we can actually count on. But in its current state, I'm not going to lie, it is still really, really frustrating and buggy, even for a tech enthusiast like me. So if you're not super techie, I mean, if you have trouble with, if you don't know what I mean when I say sideloading APKs, this is probably not the device for you at this point. Now, in the future, who knows? I mean, Xreal is, like again, working hard on the device, so I, I have high hopes that they're gonna get this to a functional state, but at this point, I'm probably still gonna say this is not for you if you are not like me. Okay, well, that's gonna wrap up this review and comparison of the new Xreal Air 2 and Air 2 Pro glasses. And again, I, I can't thank Xreal enough for sending these over because overall, I have to say, I really like both of them. And I do find these to be a small yet suitable upgrade over the first gen Airs. So I guess the answer to the big question that most folks came here looking for is, is, should you buy these? And if so, which set? And I mean, is it really worth the additional cost for the Air 2 Pro just to have that autochromatic darkening feature? And well, I pondered this one long and hard, and I have to say the answer is probably going to be, you know, in your own hands for that one and left up to your individual taste and budget. You know, for me personally, I just can't see the electrochromatic darkening feature as being something that would merit the increase in cost, considering, as I showed you earlier, you get the light blocker with both pairs of glasses included in the package. So at the same time, though, I do find it to be a really cool new addition, and it's for sure a wow factor when you're demoing the pro version to other people or if other people see you using it in public. I've had quite a few people go, whoa, that's really cool. How'd you do that? So I guess it really comes down once again to your budget and if you have the disposable income. I mean, if you're wanting to save a little money and you're not into showing off your tech, I'd say just go for the standard Air 2s. But if you have disposable income and you like to get that oh cool exclamation out of your friends and family when you show off new toys, then definitely consider the upgrade to the pros. But either way you go, I think you're gonna be satisfied with your purchase. I, these glasses are not perfect. There's no perfect exclamation our glasses out there, but they're pretty darn good, and I, I gotta recommend them. So there will be links in the description for everything that you need to learn a little bit more or grab a set for yourself, but for me, that's gonna do it today. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you did, and if you don't mind, and you liked what you saw here today, do me a solid and smash that like on your way out the door and consider hitting subscribe. That way you get notified the next time I do something cool like this in augmented, extended, or virtual reality. But for me, I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.
Oh, you guys are still here, and that's awesome. So, you know, there's something I totally forgot to add to this review, and if you're like me and your sight challenge, this is a game changer. So you're going to want to pick up a good set of prescription lens inserts for your X-Real Air 2s or Air 2 Pros. And our good friends over at VR Rock have you covered. Now, X-Real does give you a frame in the box, as you see here, but unfortunately, in my little neck of the woods, I couldn't find anyone that was willing to put custom lenses in it. So, VR Rocks got you covered. These are technically for the X-Real Air, but you can see they totally fit on the newly redesigned nose piece nicely. And they just slide right in. And there we go. Now, no wearing glasses over glasses, which we all know sucks, and I can see crystal clear. So if you need a set of these, and again, I highly recommend that you grab some. I am an affiliate of VR Rock, so use the code in my description, save 10%, help out the channel a little bit. It's a win-win for both of us. All right, for real this time, I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.